I saw the Wolverine. Oh, there we go. That, that's actually noteworthy. It's relevant. Uh, relevant. I went to the theater. Actually, I went to the drive-in. So, uh, I liked it. See, most people I heard have liked it, but then, you know, um, apparently it's uh, not one of the, I don't know, I don't read the comics, but apparently that storyline's not the mo- the fan favorite of the storylines, I guess, when he went to Japan. But to me, uh, like, when watching the trailer and everything, I was like, that seems pretty interesting. Well, here's the good news. It doesn't suck. I mean, the last one I was watching, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, you can't even make his claws look real. Like, yeah. like I don't even believe those are his claws. Like, like, if I don't believe that those are actually attached to him, then you're fucking gone with whatever you try to pull over my fucking face. Right. Um, this movie, it was smaller. Um, the storyline, I mean, like, it was just a much smaller movie. And the action, which is my favorite part of the movie, was, like, gritty, a lot of, like, close combat, no fucking spaceships, no tons of X-Men. <laughs> no, no crazy action sequences like fucking flying a, th- a thousand feet in the air to land on a chopper or whatever. Yeah, no, no James Bond shit. Huh? No, like <laughs> it was legit, like down and dirty fighting, and uh, the CG was great. Uh, there's a, there's a train sequence with no music. Where yeah, I've I've seen the clips of that. That was slick. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. The, these two guys are fighting Wolverine, and another guy fighting on, on top of a, a train that's going really fast yeah the I minute mean, train's flying yeah and they they stay on the train by wolverine putting his claws through the roof of the train and the other guy using his knife to like slash you know stab into the roof of the train to like keep from blowing off the train and they fight and keep getting pushed back when when their knives aren't in the train they get pushed back by the wind so that was really slick no no music like a good, good five minutes fight yeah, you just hear like the basically the wind and just the like, wind it, and yeah, like, like the knives like that's clink, cool. clinking. Uh, so that was that was I was just happy it didn't suck. Uh, for me, there's there was too much dialogue for me. Like I'm kind of I don't know, man. Very few movies where they can spend like a lot of time talking about the history because they fight, which is great. But then they take a break and, like, catch their breath and, like, fix their wounds. And they're like, you know, back 20 years ago, man. Like, you know, I met somebody and I learned I learned how to fight. And, they, like, they, like, show you the backstory a lot. And that kind of got boring to me because I don't ever in this movie believe that Hugh Jackman is actually the Wolverine. It's it, To me, it's the same problem in almost all these Marvel movies. Because, I mean, I, I read comics, but I don't read those type of comics, I guess. So I yeah. don't... Like I don't care about all that. That's the thing. I know, I, I know it's making all the comic book nerds like super happy or Marvel yeah. nerds super happy, but for me, I'm like I don't give a shit. That's that's yeah. When he goes on for a ten minute monologue about that fucking girlfriend Gray, whatever her name is. Yeah, Phoenix. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of like Gray, whatever. Yeah, you're right. Like comic people would be like, oh my god, like in issue fucking forty, he talks about that story. You know, I don't know about that fucking comic book, so I don't really care. Uh, there was a lot of that. De- the action is great, but you also get lots of time where he's ta- you know, learning about the history of the character. Which, that, wait, if that's your fucking thing, great. That's right. Great. But, uh, fuck, the movie's over two hours, isn't it? Yeah, it was long. That's my uh, problem. I can't deal with movies that long that have freaking oh, a bunch of dialogue I don't care about when it's supposed yeah. to be an action movie. Yeah, lots of story. Um, my only other problem was... The, 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 there's like a girl the whole movie is him protecting a girl and at some point like there's a love story that just like like a flick of a switch just happens and, and I'm like well you didn't really build that up like you just kind of threw in like at some point Wolverine's okay with forgetting about the great chick because he met this new girl but it was never built up the love story was never even a thought until like it actually happens where he's like I'm in love with her <laughs> and fucks her, and has sex with her, and then like he's okay with forgetting about Gray. So that's her name, right? Gray. It's Jean Gray. Jean Gray. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Also known as Phoenix. So Phoenix. I don't know, man. It was definitely one of the better Wolverine movies slash X Men I've seen. I, I was impressed by it. 
they definitely scaled it back. Uh, I, I liked that. I'd get that a 3.5. I liked it a lot. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe if you're an X-Man man, probably a 4. Yeah. Um, what else did I see? 